Hey guys, in this video I want to use an orange as an example to explain to you what is determinism, how it works and uh, how it relates to your own uh, life. So, determinism is a basically a belief that everything has already been determined and uh, it's just happening the way it is and there is no free will basically. So everything has been determined already and uh, I'm gonna explain to you why. Now imagine this is an orange and when I, if I throw it, it will fly in a certain direction and then it will start falling down. And that's determined by various laws that we understand. Law of gravity, law of uh, the air res resistance, you know, and, and, and a few other things. So, why is everything determined or why some people believe that um, everything's determined? So, let's say you are the universe. So, you consist of everything. Uh, so, of me, of the air, of the orange, and or basically of everything. You are the universe. Therefore, you know everything because you, you are everywhere and you know everything, what's happening right now, what has just happened uh, a moment ago and, and a long time ago because you are the universe, you are everywhere, right? So, so in the universe, if something happens, it's already, um, the universe is aware of it. And of small bits, though, on the big scale, like planets moving and on small scale, subatomic movement, the universe is everywhere, so it knows everything. So, the question is now, if if the universe knows everything that has already happened and what what is, then the universe can easily predict what's going to happen. So, if if this if you if you know that this orange is moving at certain speed, and you know that there is nothing in its way except for the air, which is insignificant, you know that in the next second the, or next one thousandth of a second it will be there, then there, 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 and you can easily calculate where it will be, when it will fall. You, and uh, if, if you notice that there's something coming towards it, you will be able to calculate when it will hit. So you know precisely you can calculate when things are going to happen, right? And because everything is happening according to precise set laws that determine the outcome, we can assume that if I throw an orange, it's already been determined where it will fall and how, what will happen when it bounces off something, what will happen internally with, with it. So that's determinism. So. So in the same way, if I know what's happening now, and I know what, what happened a second before, then I can easily calculate everything backwards. So if I know all the bits, uh, one hundredth of a second, two hundredth of a second, and half a second, and so on and so on, I can calculate things backwards. So if I have sufficient data, and it doesn't need to be a lot, but if I have sufficient data, sometimes even two time frames is enough, I can calculate what happened just before that. And if I have the data what happened just before that, I can calculate what happened just before that, and just before that, uh, until infinity. So, we can say that the, the whole universe was determined at the moment of the Big Bang. If the big, big Bang theory is correct, if everything started from a Big Bang, then we can assume the moment it exploded, this, this moment s determined everything. Because from now on, everything started unfolding according to specific laws that were created in the moment of the... Of the Big Bang of the explosion. So, by virtue of this, many people believe that uh, everything has been determined. And I can understand that, that there is some truth in it. And although th there, there are some other arguments, I'm going to tell you about them what arguments, saying um, that determinism is not exactly correct. Um, so, so I can understand it because, yeah, we can calculate everything. And, and people argue, the argument is, but wait a moment, what about free will? And people say, no, there is no free will. You think that you're choosing something, you're deciding, but that's you're choosing based on certain laws that already are in motion. You have no choice. You, you, like, I have no choice but to move my hand like this or say whatever I'm saying, and I can't change it because whatever I change, it's already been determined anyway. It was going to happen. And I'm just playing it out and observing it. So, but then some people say, look, quantum physics, quantum physics is showing to us that on, although on a big scale of things everything is determined, on a small scale of things, like um, a subatomic level, it's pretty random. And, and the quantum physics is very clear about this and we can see from experiments. We cannot, for example, pinpoint the location of a particle without collapsing this uh, wave function and probability function and all those things. And if you don't know about this, I suggest you watch some movies on, on YouTube. There are lots of good videos on YouTube about this uh, that explain how that works. So, so th those people say, yeah, th there is, you know, um, you've got free will actually on the subatomic level. There is an evidence of free will and random things happening. The question might be, well, 
maybe it's not as random as we think. Maybe it's determined by some other laws and maybe by some other connections with some other universes that we don't understand, are not aware of. So still, I don't think this argument has been settled, whether the determinism is right or not. However, uh, I think it's an interesting subject to, to discuss. So again, leave me some comments. Do you believe that everything is determined and no matter what we do, what we think, it's already been determined it was going to happen anyway. And no matter what I do, if I do even something like, <coughs> I was meant to do it anyway. And I couldn't have done anything else because that's my role in this universe. So do you believe that or do you still believe that there is some, some free will, maybe if not on our kind of human level, then maybe on some other level, maybe on the level of soul, the soul can still decide to make some changes. Um, I think it's an interesting uh, discussion because the more I think about this, the, the more I'm uh, co not confused, but the more I, I'm indecisive because I can see how it could actually be everything determined. Uh, if you understand time and space, you know you know that there is no really time. Time is an illusion of space and of the world we live in. You could then understand, yeah, that everything could be determined. So I'm looking forward to your comments and uh, and obviously feel free to let me know if you like oranges as well. I love oranges. I make smoothies with oranges very often, almost every day. Uh, so thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Ciao.